Hello YouTube and thanks for tuning in. Today I'm going to be talking about a new radio I just picked up, the TMV71 Alpha. So we'll get to it right after this. I picked up a TMV71 Alpha because I wanted a radio that I knew was strong and could handle some of the elements as I plan on using this for a lot of camping and eventually I'm going to make a go box out of it. I wanted to spare you the unboxing so this is everything it comes with. You have your usual microphone mounting bracket, mounting hardware, fuse, microphone mount, power cord. I added the Anderson power poles myself. Get the usual instruction manual. It's the French and Spanish one. I have no use for that. Usual warranty work and the English version of the instruction manual. This radio is obviously it's 2 meter 440. It's a true dual band. You can run VHF, 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 UHF, and UHF, UHF. It is a 50 watt radio. And it has three power settings. Low, medium, high. Low is approximately 5 watts. Medium is about 10 watts. And high is 50 watts. You can do crossband repeat with this. And it does have the ability to do remote DTMF programming. There's a thousand memory channels and each one can have up to a six digit alphanumeric. When you first get the radio you're going to want to set up some of the uh, configure some of the menu items. It's all personal preference. First one I'm going to do is the beep. I mean it's defaults at level five and to me that's a little bit on the obnoxious side. Push the function button then push on push the your volume knob in and that uh, gets you into the menu. That's if you want to, your beep on or off. See right here it's set for five. Push it in again. And then once you get the desired number you like, and it will, this will go all the way up to seven. Push in the knob again. If you want weather alert, you can have that turned on. I live in Southern California, so I'm not overly concerned with the weather, but you go to menu 110, and then on, off, those are your only choice. We'll turn it on for now. For the brightness of your uh, display, let's go to 501. The default is 8 which is the brightest go all the way to off let's leave it at the brightest to change your color go to three and like I said you only have two choices amber green now if you want to customize the A through D buttons on your microphone those start at menu item 509. It's 5, 9, 10, 11, and 12. And it's labeled PF1, PF2, PF3, PF4. So this will be menu item 509, 510, 511, and 512. So what I'm going to do is change my A button for right now. These are some of the things you can set it up for power, which side you want it on. I'm going to set it for enter. What this allows me to do is I can just hit the A button and now I can enter a frequency on the fly. And they all have the same options. The selections you have for all of the, the A through D keys is you have you know, weather channel, this one is for frequency bands, control, monitor, you can do voice recording, do voice announcement, this is group up, your menu mode, you can mute it, shifting, dual mode, memory to VFO, go to your VFO, and these are for VFO, memory, call, your megahertz, tone, if you're trying to set in it, you can set this up so you can set repeaters up really quickly, this way you don't have to look at the control panel, you do reverse, change your power, you can lock it, the face and then 
switch from A or B. And then obviously enter, and then you have the 1750 hertz tone. I'm putting the radio to turn off automatically. The selections you have are off. You have a 30 minute, 60 minute, 90 minute, 120 minute, 180 minute. I'm going to set mine for 30 minutes. Then if you need to change the actual offset, let's go to menu item 400. Press in, then you can change it to whatever you need. If you want to change the power on message, just go to memory 500. Push in the VFO knob. Change it to my call sign. Then hit again. You're all set. Repeater into this radio is very easy. First thing I'm going to do is use one of the local ones around here. And then for the tone, you want to make sure it says tone. You can get that by just hitting you have your different options. Pretty much you're always going to use the T. Hit function, tone, and you can adjust to whatever. PL tone you need. In this case, we want 103.5. Once that's in, hit tone again. And then to save it into memory, you got memory in right here. Hit function. And you got your blinking number right here. Now, if there is a memory in that slot, you'll see a triangle underneath it. And then push memory in. And switch over to memory, and there you are. And to see if we got this set up right. See if we can't get the repeater to respond. And there you go. To set up an alphanumeric tag. Just go to memory channel 200. And you can either use the VFO knob to change each letter and character and then press in to advance to the next one, or you can use the uh, keypad on the microphone. Push in. And once you're done, you hit it twice, and that ends it. And take yourself back out. And then to display the name tag, the alphanumeric tag, just push in on the VFO knob. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. If you haven't done so, please subscribe and hit the bell notification so you'll be notified each time I upload a video. You can check out some of my other videos, and if you have any comments or questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments section below. And again, thanks for watching.